Hi, Bob Morrow from emailhomes.ca. Uh, talking today about the Burr process. Um, I didn't invent it, but it is a system that investors use uh, to add value to a property they purchase so that it becomes more valuable. And um, not only when you sell it, you make money, but during the process, you can refinance it and make money. And we're going to get into all that throughout this series on Burr. Um, e what Burr stands for is buy, renovate, rent, refinance and repeat and then lately we're adding another R for repurpose and we'll get into all of that on each video we'll pick one letter and explain it as best we can as short and as sweet as we can so the first one is buy the most important step before we even consider buying a house is who your partners are going to be and primarily I'm talking about the realtor in order for the burst process to work you need a realtor that's investor savvy specifically with the burr process the reason for that is because you could look at 10 houses, but only two of them could be turned into, uh, could have added value by doing something to it, by renovating to it. In the old days, flippers would take any house, uh, fix it up and sell it and make money. That's almost impossible to do these days in this particular market. So what we need is a realtor that understands what the local city bylaws are uh, and regulations and knows whether a house can actually be improved upon or not. Now in our case, we do a lot of uh, single family homes and turn them into duplexes. So the city has a lot of regulations uh, such as ceiling height, how many exits there are, uh, the size of the pipe, the water that's coming into the house, um, stuff like that. So your realtor needs to know all these things so that they can look at the house even online and say, oh no, this isn't going to work because the ceiling height's too low, so there's not much we can do about that. Um, so we're going to move on to the next house. You might see a handful of houses and think that they all look great, but your realtor should know whether they can be duplexed or not, if that's what you're doing. So first step is to find that realtor. Ask them if they understand the Burr process. If they can't explain it to you, he or she, um, find somebody else because this is critical. These people are the ones that are searching the marketplace, trying to narrow down the homes to show you. Uh, for example, when I, I preview a lot of the homes that come up and I might spend three or four days out in the city looking at 10 or 12 homes, but I can only recommend two or three of them to my clients because they're the only ones that can be done legally. So step one, find a good realtor.